Yeah, when I was at university, um, I, I didn't think about the, the big questions of God or the reason we're here at all, really. Um, it was when I was working, I was in the workplace and I was on a business trip somewhere and I went for an airport and I, I picked up a, a book fairly randomly from the bookshelf that was Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion. Um, and I read that and, and it resonated quite a lot. It, made, it seemed to make a lot of sense and, and I thought, yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I met um, a Christian um, at a house party fairly randomly. I'd just moved house, um, got into a conversation about what I what I thought, of, I was asked what I thought about Jesus, um, and I was desperately trying to recall some, some Dawkins quotes. Um, and I think I just went home that evening with a, a slight sort of, just a doubt that I didn't answer those questions as well as I, I could. Maybe, maybe I should reread Dawkins, as is what I went away thinking from that night. But then I was, um, this, this friend who I just met follow, followed it up and gave me a few, a few Christian books to read. Um, Mere Christianity by, by C.S. Lewis and I, I read it and I, I fairly arrogantly thought that I was going to be able to pull it apart and find the holes in it because I knew that God didn't exist um, but, that, but the, the actuality was, was very different from that and that C.S. Lewis made a very logical case for, for God and, and for Christianity and I, I kind of thought there's, there's more to this than I'd ever given it credit so I decided to I guess look into it a bit more. The case for the, the moral argument that, that C.S. Lewis made very powerfully was, was really compelling. The fact that, yeah, I sort of could recognise that deep sense of right and wrong that, that was in, within me and, and sort of just, just looking at, at sort of the naturalist evolution approach on its own, it just, you can't explain where it comes from. So that, I found that one really compelling. And just, just the, the whole host of reading these books from, from academics, from the likes of, of John Lennox and, and Alistair McGrath. Um, clearly very, very educated guys. I think I probably arrogantly thought that, that intellectuals weren't Christians or didn't believe in God. Um, and to be, I mean clearly clever people believe in God and clever people don't and it's not a sign of any intellectual. But the fact that there were intellectuals out there that, that were Christians really kind of gave me a bit of a wake up call I think. I, I got hold of a couple more books, um, some kind of challenging the, the Dawkins view, um, the, the Dawkins delusion was, was one of those. I was also given a couple of um, books on Christianity, uh, the, the Case for Christ, that, that was one of a really compelling argument by a, a journalist who had gone through perhaps a similar journey to me, sort of fairly logically looking at a lot of the arguments. And, and then one Sunday I, I went to church. I kind of thought, well, okay, if I'm actually going to find out a bit about Christianity, maybe maybe church is the place to go. I actually went to Google and, and Googled churches in Southampton and didn't know where to go. Um, and yeah, just walking in for the for the first time, and, and people want to sort of shake your hand and welcome you. And it's, it's I almost wanted to be anonymous and just hide at the back, and I'm just here to observe, I'm just not 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 part of it. So it was it was scary coming to faith and and now believing in, in Jesus, um, it's made so much difference to my life. Um, just in, in all areas really, in, in the way I am at work, in, in the way I'm with my family and, and friends. I, I think um, a, a few, of, quite a lot of my friends have, have noticed a difference. That sometimes they don't know quite what to attribute it to. Um, I, I met up for, for lunch with a, a friend about a month ago, who I hadn't actually seen for about, like, about the last year. Um, and over lunch she just said to me, she said, you've changed. Um, and said, change for the better, which was to make me smile a little bit. And uh, she said, there's a sense of peace about you. And, and I kind of, I could recognize that. I think, yeah, I, did, I am a lot more at peace, generally.